Hello, my name is Anthony. Welcome to this session that discusses the batch analytics, which has become available in 21C across the Oracle Utilities Cloud Services. In this session, we'll talk about this new feature and how it can impact your business. I'll give you an overview of the batch analytics, followed by more detail to explain how to use it and the benefits to your business. Then we'll walk through a demonstration. And finally, we'll explain what you need to consider when implementing this product in your business and provide you with some additional resources. The batch analytics feature has been added so that customers can strategically analyze their batch workload over time. This allows customers to detect trends, detect anomalies, and better understand the distribution of the batch workloads. The key analysis looks at history of batch processing at various levels over time to help appreciate not only what was run, but when it was run, where it was run, and what method was used to initiate the workload. This can be key in assessing your workload to better make use of your cloud capacity in a more cost-effective way. The batch analytics tool looks at processing over time in three key areas. Batch run analysis, analyzing the workload at the highest level for individual executions, for individual processes over time. Batch thread analysis, which is analyzing workload at an individual thread level for individual executions, for individual processes over time. And thread capacity, subdividing a day into 10 minute intervals to allow assessment of workload in each interval for possible workload redistribution. Supporting these analytics is a set of dimensions included and calculated to allow for the data to be sliced and analysed appropriately. These include the category of the workload, which is handy for tracking the impact of exports and imports out of the service. Submission method to detect how and who initiated the workload for compliance checking. State analysis to recognise the trends for processing. Elapsed time analysis to recognise when processing needs to be re-optimised to meet your business goals. All this information is layered to allow appropriate levels of analysis for your business needs. Now, let's take a look at the batch analytics. The first canvas I'd like to show you is the batch run analytics project. As with all projects, uh, there is a, a project page which gives you an example of all the, what the project's all about, as well as all the canvases in the project. Now the canvases will be displayed either at the top or at the bottom of the page, and you select which ones you want to see. So in this uh, project, we have a batch summary canvas, which gives you a summary of all the um, batch executions at the batch run level um, across your implementation. As you can see, you can change uh, filters at the top to change this. This is the execution history for by date and time, by day of the week and time. You can actually see the history of a batch job over time, and you can focus on particular areas and see what the execution is being processed. You can see the batch work workload, which is the elapsed, sum of the elapsed time over um, over your workload by different categories and and ownerships. You can see the batch workload by number of jobs that are executed over time. You can see a summary of the business date or a group of business dates, which complements the batch day dashboard. And the last two canvases around submission submit, submitting. So when things were submitted and who by, and when are your business periods for submissions based on the submission method used. The second analytics project is the batch run analytics project, batch run thread analytics project, which covers things at the thread level. Again, the first page is the project overview. You can look at the history of the threads, individual threads, and even uh, limit to what threads you see to see any data skew you see in the threads over time. You can see whether the threads are distribution using uh, inter-quantile range analysis, um, and there's an article explaining and documentation explaining what that means. So you can see over time whether the majority of your threads are ending and using uh, volume as a, as a reference. You can see if any threads dominating the workload or being retried a lot or completing a lot. You can see the uh, execution state of any thread over time, including errors and when it's retried. 
you can see um, the most popular jobs, and by clicking the job, you can see the what threads were allocated to it. As an example, the last canvas in this uh, is batch analytics capability is the thread capacity analytics. This uh, project takes a typical day, breaks it up into 10 minute intervals and tells you what was running in those intervals to have a look at capacity. So again, the first page is the project page which explains it all. This one talks, uh, has a look at the distribution of threads over time, um, time of day based on category. So you can see based on which category is taking over by the time of day and the day of the week. You can see the same thing by uh, thread pool and you can also click on a time and see what was running at any point in time by any of the of the criteria that you've placed in. Batch owner analysis allows you to look at uh, the ownership over time as well so you can see whether your customizations are taking more time than your than the base product and again by day of month in this case. And the last canvas really takes a look at submission methods and seeing whether over time of the day whether certain submission methods are more popular than others. In this implementation advice section, we'll go through what you need to consider before enabling this feature in your business and what you need to know to set it up. For customers upgrading from earlier versions, it is highly recommended to execute the F1 BT IDT batch processes so that past executions can be included in the analysis. This process cleans up the data and places the metrics for all the executions in the correct places for analytics to use them. For additional advice, it is recommended to read the analytics documentation and the batch best practices technical paper. Both documents have more information about this capability, including guidelines to maximize effectiveness.